Hi everyone, it's me Jada and today we're going to be doing a relaxed video for this one because I want to make sure that this new PC is working so we're going to do a little bit of a test run and we also need to hopefully update something so I'm going to be taking the Pottermore Discover Your Hogwarts House we're going to ignore all the controversy behind JK Rowling. This isn't about her. This is about the stuff that she wrote. So without further ado, I want to get into the video. I just wanted to let you know I did do this ages ago. If I can find the video, it will be up in the iCard. Um, just so you're aware, the last time I did this, I think I was around 14. So this is around 2014. And I got Hufflepuff. So I'm a little honey badger. So I want to do it again, and I have no idea what my um, Patronus was. Could not tell you for the life of me. So we're going to start the sorting ceremony. Okay, moon or star. Now I'm going to talk through all my choices here. So the moon controls obviously the ocean and the water, and it's very spiritual. Stars shows time and space. I'm going to go with the moon. If you're, at if you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? So there's cats, toads, and owl. Cat, I'd just love to have in real life. Toads, I I like, but I probably wouldn't have as a pet. Owls would be cool. Like, I would vibe with the owls. I don't know, again, how I feel about as a pet. So it's between cats and owls. I'm going to choose... See, cat seems really boring, but I would cuddle it. And I've always wanted a cat, so I'm like... Mm. Honestly, okay, I'm going to pick owls and here's my reason. I pick owls because in my head I'm like, oh, I can send a letter with the owl and, you know, send it to my loved one. If you're attending a uh, witch pet, so there's a barn owl, the twani owl, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, the snowy owl, the screech owl, or the brown owl. Um, I don't want the screech owl. Snowy owl's dope, but probably not for me and I don't think it'd do well in my environment. I live in Australia in Adelaide and it's really hot here they're just really cute so I'm gonna go with the one I can barely pronounce <laughs> which of the following would you most like to study so there's the male people centaurs werewolves vampires goblins trolls ghosts um hmm don't know actually I feel like mer people would be the most fascinating most fascinating also just because i have a huge obsession with water so that probably comes into play so we pick my people one of your housemates has been cheating in a hobbit exam by using a self-spelling quill now he has come top of the class and charmed beating you in second place the fact i'm getting second place something else should be wrong with mine professor fitwick is suspicious of what happened he draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill what will you do so there's option one, tell Professor Fit the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be, will be regained by you for coming first in his place. Don't like the reason for the end, but fair. Number two, you would not wait to be asked to tell pro your professor the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would want... You would tell the teacher before the exam started. Three, lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Fit the truth. Or four, tell Professor Fit that he out to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Okay, that I kind of agree with to some extent. I, I hate lying, so that's a no. Uh, you would not wait. I hate coming up and talking to people. This is the one I feel most comfortable with. I hate the end part though, where it's like also, you know, you're both in the same house. Woo. I don't think that matters as much, but I'm going to go with this one. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? So there's the piano, the drum, the violin, or the trumpet. Pleases my ear. I love all instruments in general. There isn't a single instrument so far that I've hated. Pleases my ear the most. The instrument that makes me most calm would be the drums. Um, piano is very lovely and I love listening to it in like classical music. Violin and trumpet I like hearing in jazz and blues. But I'm going to go with the drum. Given the choice, 
Would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, or wisdom? Uh, wisdom. I have no care for power. Love, I want it to be a natural thing, and I hope that the person I fall in love with is the same. Glory, I don't see a reason to. I would just like to be more wise if I could. Um, I, if it counts as intelligence, I'd take that. Which of the following do you find the most difficult to deal with? So there's loneliness, boredom, hunger, being ignored, or cold. Cold, I'm fine with. Being ignored would probably be the hardest, but it's the one I'm used to as well the most. Hunger, could probably deal with. Boredom, I read a book. Loneliness, I just hang out. I can deal with all of these quite easily. But I'll say being ignored, because that one I think would be the most upsetting. Left or right? Uh, I don't know, there's no justification to this. Right. Because I want to look at the positive things. This one has made its decision. Alright, I'm going to close my eyes. I really hope it's Hufflepuff. Not that I awfully care, but I'm also like, I'm a Ravenclaw. What? What? Yeah, great. What? You probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members include, yeah, yeah. But did you know Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talk talkative house warts ho Hogwarts house ghost, while that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning view of the castle grounds. Why am I a Ravenclaw? A message from your perfect. That sounds bad. Congratulations, I'm perfect Robert Hillard, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Ravenclaw House. Our emblem is the eagle, which soars where others cannot climb. Our house colours are blue and bronze. My favourite colour is blue, so sure. Our common room is found at the top of Ravenclaw Tower, behind a door with an enchanted knocker. The arched windows set into the walls of the circular common room look down at the school grounds. The lake, the forbidden forest, the Quidditch pitch, and the Herbology gardens. No other house and school has such a stunning view. Or there's a lot. Well, no. Or yet in wise old Ravenclaw, if you are ready mind where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. That is really weird. I don't know. Like, I'm not angry with it. I knew I'd be in either one, but I didn't know which one. So that's really interesting. Let's see which one. Let's have a look, shall we? First of all, would you describe I am average height? I hate being called short. My eyes are hazel. I was born on an even number. Do you, what do you most pride yourself in? Determination, originality, imagination, optimism, kindness, resilience, and intelligence. Um, probably optimism or kindness. Intelligence, I think very lowly of. Um, unless it was wisdom that I think highly of, which is a bit weird. So I'm going to say optimism. Travelling along down a desert road, you reach a crossroad. Do you go left towards the sea, right to the castle, ahead towards the forest? I mean, where am I going? If I need shelter, I'm going to the castle. If it's whatever, I'm going, if it's a good day, to the sea. This is a very open-ended question, but sure. Do you most fear fire? No, I love it. Darkness, isolation, heights, or small spaces? I love fire. Small spaces, don't really mind. Darkness, eh. Isolation, eh. Heights, don't care for. I guess I'll say isolation, because I don't want to be alone forever. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, ooh. ornate mirror, glittering jewel, bound scroll, golden key, dusty bottle, or black glove. Probably the dagger or the scroll. So I'm going to go with the dagger. I like both. So mine would be a red wood with a phoenix feather core, 12 and a half inches, and solid flexibility. Sorry, I wish I could see what it looked like, but now we'll do my Patronus. Alright, so let's have a look, shall we? Oh, do I need headphones for this? I know this is better with headphones. But... Oh, I have my headphones in. Let me just chop these on for a second. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very thing that the Dementor feeds upon. 
hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. All the things that I love. Um, dope. I just want to know which one I got. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Discover my Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once the questions of time go with your instinct. Begin. I hate time events for sure. Likes. Think of your happiest memory. I don't know if I have one, but I'll think of something. Hmm, eating. Or sleeping. Uh, dance, discover. Uh, discover, I see dream, but I don't care. Salt or sweet? Uh, salt. I do like sweets, but, you know, if I had to eat one of them, like, them for the rest of my life, sweets for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Around, under, over. Uh, around. This is. I like the low poly vibe, but also I'm like, eh. Oh, do I know where my Patronus is? Nope, but there's something. What was that? Is there a hint of a tail? Or is it a wing? I feel like you should be able to know the difference between a tail and a wing, but fair. Um, together alone, together alone. The Patronus is almost here. A woo! How exciting. Comfort, advice, press, uh, advice. I do, like, pride in comfort, but advice is good. Can you try it more quickly? Try again. What? Oh, I just said the error. No, well, that's not my fault. No. There's nothing to do. Did you see I, Apparently, I clicked something and there was nothing on the screen, so that's pretty dopamine. Um, oh, I'm doing it again. Hey, I discovered. Oh, we got having issues. Welcome to Australian Wi Fi. Australian made Wi Fi, and we're having the shitty Wi Fi. How bad? Bloody testing. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. I'm loving hearing the screams, but, like, you know, I'm also seeing red dots in the future. Can we go forward? Maybe. Something. Anything. Um, I'm gonna mute this. This is how my eardrums. Alright, we're gonna like refresh and do that again, I think, because she having issues. So we'll just quickly a speed run this, maybe. Yes, hello, Patronus. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Also, I have a Harry Potter house quiz by BuzzFeed because I want to just compare the two for just for like shits and giggles and see how close uh, they were to each other. So we will. Oh, yeah, I swear I'm with you. Whatever. I'm kind of bummed in a way that I'm not a Hufflepuff. Thought I was always a Hufflepuff. What did I choose wrong? I don't know, maybe because I was like, yes, I want wisdom instead of love. Discover. Yeah, I I think that might be one of them anyway, because wisdom is obviously very much a half, uh, it's very much a Ravenclaw thing. I don't know, man, like, I'm not angry that I'm a Ravenclaw, but it's like, changes everything now. I guess, you know, you kind of change houses the older you get. So I'm always curious, like, do they just stay in the one house and that's it? Or do they change every year? I know they don't because we see it in the movies, but I'd be curious, like, in a real life setting, what would be done? I don't know. Oh, I saw a claw or it might be a fang. Keep going.
Dungeons and Dragons at least. I'm not betraying it. What is it? It's a horse? A chestnut mare. Ooh. Hello. Hi, horse. I wish it told me why it was a chestnut mare. So I have a chestnut mare and a redwood with a phoenix feather claw, 12 and a half inch with solid flexibility wand, which I think is dope, and my raven claw. So now we're going to jump over to the most trusted site on the planet, a buzzfeed, to see which one I truly belong in, because mm, I want that phoenix feather. Made to Hogwarts, but what is the material at its core? During the end of the year, you notice that someone is using an enchanted quill. Wow, they released all these questions off of um, the wizard one. I'm going to encourage the other student to admit what they've done to the professor. Um, what would you hate to be called? Um, ignorant. No, actually, unkind. You're locked in a duel with a skilled opponent. They fire a spell at you unknown and you shout, This is bad because I don't remember where any of these are. So, that one because it's, why not? To fifth year at Hogwarts and you just received a howler from your parents. What for? Sneaking into the Forbidden Forest, getting caught, being put into detention, and nothing? Because I don't want to get, I don't want anything bad. Which quote speaks to you? Pity the living and all above those who live without love. Words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most ex exhaustible source of magic. Man is not what if someone is born, where they grow to be, doesn't dwell. Pity the living. Which of these most accurately describes your friendship with your close friends? I love my friends. Which of your skills are you most proud of? Absorb information, make new friends, to get what I want, to keep secrets. I'm shit at all of these. So... Keep secrets. Uh, what are you in the Quidditch team? Seeker, chaser, beater, crowd. Um... I want to be part of the team. You're allowed a pet. What do you want? Um, I said cat in the other one, so I'm going to say... No, I said owl in the other one, so I'm going to say cat in this one. It's Saturday. You finish your homework. Where are you going? Library, kitchen, room requirements, or forest? Um, It's a toss-up between library and the forest. I'm going to say... The library. What would you see in the mirror? Myself and riches, love and family, knowledge above all, experience of marvelous adventure. Knowledge. Which of these magical events would you like to experience? The Yule Bowl, for sure. When you have trouble mastering a new spell, you decide to ask for help. My smartest friend, duh. Uh, choose a Deathly Hallow. Resurrection Stone, because I'm a healer. Which path do you tend to follow after leaving Hogwarts? Join the Ministry, travel, settle down, continue. Toss up between Ministry and settle down. But I'm going to choose Ministry. And which I want to be? I want to be Hufflepuff. Look at that, 42% Hufflepuff, 27% Ravenclaw, 16% Slytherin, and 15% Gryffindor. Obviously, this isn't real, but I'm going to read it anyway because it's fun. You belong in the Hufflepuff, without question. But your Ravenclaw-esque appreciation for knowledge means your, your many friends come to you when they need advice for someone with a level head. While you enjoy any kind of learning, working as part of a team is where you truly thrive. You're an excellent collaborator and understand the communication with others is an essential part of learning and more importantly growing as a person. Your slightly compatible with the Slytherin house suggests a determination to succeed, though not at the expense of trait from your dormant so your dominant house, not dormant. I can't read for shit. I know if I change this around it's about a five percent difference, I believe, between the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, as my friend has told me. But there you go. The links to both these quizzes will be in the description below. But yeah, I, according to the website, I am a Ravenclaw, but in my heart, I'm Hufflepuff. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see the other girls take this quiz, let me know. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>